Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and welcome to another Planet Coaster Console Edition Park Tour. Now this is called Speedville Theme Park and it was created on the PS4 by Golf Pro 07. Now this is the description says charming little park, lots of detail, first ever park, enjoy. I'm just gonna say this park is amazing, especially for a first park. It is, it's a small park, it uses the entire percentage, there's a lot of detail in the park, and I am just amazed that this is this creator's first ever creation, and the level of detail that was used. So let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Here we are outside the entrance to the park, and I'm just so shocked that this is this creator's first ever park. Like. You're going to see this. This is the detail on here is really, really impressive. Um, at least the bit that I've seen so far. So as we walk through the gates, do, 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 do. We enter the gates and I mean, I love the foliage here. I love the trees covering up the paths. Um, you know, maybe overdoing it a little bit with this uh, Scavola. But either way, I like it. Could use a little bit of terrain paint right in that space. Um, but this is just really kind of nice and secluded and just really, really cool. And so as we enter right away, you see a queue right there for, I think, a coaster. So there's no water rides in this park. Let's turn to a different time of the day. So let's see. So that's nighttime. So, yeah. And then over here we see, wow, this is cool. So it's just a really nice kind of nature park. Like the building styles are really good too. And hopefully that music's not too loud. It's just really loud in my ear right now um, <laughs> on this microphone. So we've got the, it just says infor uh, information, but we got a hats fantastic. We got food place love this building this is really nice so it looks like this is going to be the entrance to the first coaster and look at that fencing that detail is awesome so for anybody who doesn't know let's see if it'll let me click on it there we go that's just the wooden ladder so you use three wooden ladders i mean the amount of pieces used there is really it's a lot but I think it, it gives it that really cool kind of custom fencing look because the in-game fences just aren't great, if we're being honest. So here's the queue, and this is a really long queue though for Junior Coaster, but one thing that I do like is we now hopped out of Plip Cam Mode by doing that. So there's a trick, that's how you can get a Plip Cam Mode, is everything's on a grid, which is nice, and this is the widest queue path. So clearly this creator found a uh, either figured out on his own or watched some kind of YouTube video or realized that, hey, the larger your queue path and if it's on a grid, the more you can get in the part. But let's go ahead and take a look here at the um, station. And once again, it's made out of these kind of logs and it's really cool and detailed. And then you've also got the fencing all the way around so that none of the sides are open. But what I really like is that there's basically these logs in between each row. So that's a really cool kind of idea or way to look at it. So let's see as the guests enter. So they shouldn't cross through those bars at all or those logs. Yeah, so that is, that's really cool. That is really well done. I don't think I've seen anybody do that. So as we pause this for a second, it's called Anaconda. Wish we could switch out the type of trains. He's Anaconda with a dragon. But G-forces look good. Max speed 43 miles per hour, which is pretty quick for a kid's coaster like this. But let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster.
All right, so that was the Anaconda coaster, and it's a good junior coaster. Uh, maybe just need a tad bit more smoothing, but one thing in with kind of the coasters and some stuff in this park is maybe just needs a little bit more smoothing overall, but this is the creator's first ever park, and, I mean, this is so much better than anything I created in my first park. Um, the foliage is done nice. Like, once again, maybe too, a little bit too much of the scavola on the ground. I mean, it is good to see some parts of the ground and stuff but i mean everything's covered by trees and rocks and so everything really feels secluded out here which is nice so now we're not going to hop back and flip kim over we're just going to stay like this and we're going to head around and also the tedious work of covering up the entire path with rocks <laughs> so tedious and then you've got these custom lamps right here so one thing is you might be looking at this video and it's probably going to be under 30 minutes would be my guess if not less than that and the reason is this is not a large park but it's at the ps4 limit and i'm just amazed at for a first park the level of detail that this creator put in now they all use the same cues because if you think about it there's three coasters in this park and just a couple flat rides so not a ton of rides and i love this building right here just that white with the kind of brown trim looks really good and then you've got a pretty, a fairly identical building. Oh, it looks like we're missing something up here. Yeah, oops, I think that probably got accidentally deleted. Um, so nice job here. It looks like all these buildings were built custom by you, which is really good. So I know my first park, I didn't build any custom buildings. I still would struggle to build something like this just because I wouldn't know where to begin with it. Um, but that's really detailed, and I like the detail of having these logs. So it looks like if we... Yeah, if we look up there, I mean, that's kind of the the roof and ceiling. So that's using up some pieces as well. Um, so that's really cool. Really, really cool. Maybe one thing you could do here um, is, since you basically covered up all of the all of the edges and stuff like that, you could just place down a ton of ceiling tiles. And they're not really going to be visible because you've covered up all the edges. And it would cover up some of these spots like right here and so forth where you don't have um, any rocks or anything like that. So now as we head this way, we have ourselves a boomerang. A pretty big boomerang too. And I like all the rocks and stuff and the views are nice. We got another flat right here. And look, not only do we have this custom fencing going all the way around it, Look at this roof for a second. 1,300 pieces for this. So for a first park, I mean, and the reason why it's 1,300 pieces, individual wooden planks. That is some dedication. That is impressive. And... I mean, that's just awesome, to be honest. Um, there are other ways, obviously, that you can do this, but I think it looks really, really cool. And then, e excuse me, even underneath, you've got the post like that as kind of extra little supports, which is really nice. And then you've got the post going through the middle there, which is cool. But also, as Jasmine would say, this uh, spire, whatever you call that thing, uh, which is just ornaments put together, which is really cool. Makes the, really ties it all together. So now as we look at this area, this is kind of what I would say is the main plaza area of the park, which is really, really well done. And only thing I would say down here is I probably would have used a different piece because of how those are all kind of looking like that. Um, and it's not just that they're all flickering because they're overlapping. It's with the the ridges that these have it kind of creates it it kind of creates a weird look right there so i just would have used a different piece for that um some kind of whether it's wood or um rough cement some kind of piece that doesn't have those edges that kind of go over and overlap like that but i mean this is so well done you got a little bit of leaking through right there but that's okay i mean 
I like the lily pads on the water a little bit. The water level is pretty good. Would have been nice to get a little bit higher, but that's really tough to do. And then I love the detail of this custom wood fencing as well. I mean, just everything, the detail in this park is just so well done. So if we take a look at night real quick. Oh, that gives it a good kind of glow. That's really cool. Yeah, I mean, look at this building too at night. That looks really good. Stations are lit up nice. Really, really well done. And let's look back at where we came from a little bit at night just to make sure and make sure we look at that. Oh, look at, yeah, that's a nice, nice lamp. Yeah, so everything, ooh, I never even noticed these lights hanging over. It's really cool. Really, really good job. As I said, I, I, I really like this a lot for a first park, especially, I mean, I like this as a park period. Um, but you know, this look right here, seeing all these kind of rounded buildings that are kind of turned awkward shapes is nice. Um, and you've used different building pieces as well, which is always cool to see. Well, now let's get on to the next part. So let's go on the boomerang right here. So looks like it's going to be this queue over here. So as we kind of get an overview of this area, there's the layout for the boomerang. So let's head up the queue. So it looks like you got a sign here, but not you didn't actually put the words on it. So, I mean, I've done that before where you get done with something and you forget to go back and do a couple of the minor, minor things. But, oh, that's a, oh, that is cool. So you have the kind of hanging on the rope that's a really cool touch. Really cool. I feel like those would be too easy to just knock off. Um, oh, I see what you did there to cover that up. So here's one thing that you could have done if you end up being able to see this video. Instead of taking a... So you just did... A, oops, hold on. Just took a roof piece to cover that up. What you can do is... Take a, let's see, let's just do firehouse roof. I hate sometimes when it gets in that mode. Good gosh, I don't know what's going on. All right, let me redo that because I don't know what, what in the world just happened there. All right. There we go. So you could just have this roofing like this and you go all the way across and now it's on that grid and it covers your entire, your entire queue. And they can even do it like that. Or if you need to, let's see like that. And so what it does now is it gives you a more um, natural kind of look for your cue path and stuff like that to where you don't have any of the unsightly things being that you can see if that makes sense um, yeah as we come up here love this fence as well oh I need to make this fence more just using the two meter straight rope I feel like you could use four meter straight rope there it would save you pieces overall but I love it um, using the wood and then using the or is that the... Wooden balcony base. Oh, so you did that balcony base to give you a nice trim right there. Okay, so that, that part is... That um, that curb is actually one that comes in game. And then using that balcony trim to make it look nicer. Oh, wow. I didn't even think of doing something like that. Like, that's actually a really, really cool thing to do. It gives it a little more detail. And this... Normally, I look at this curve that comes in game, and I don't like it, but I think it actually works out really well for this fencing that you created. And I like how you've got this little area right here of foliage. You did a really good job making some foliage and stuff. Um, and look at this station. This is awesome. That is an amazing station. Wow. I need to think of doing something like this for a, 
for one of my uh, wooden coasters or something at some point. So this is just a, an amazing, amazing station. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the stats on this coaster. And everything looks good. G-forces, yeah, so vertical G-forces are really high. And I'm sure that's at the entrance or exit of one of the chain areas of the lift hill. Um, six inversions, two airtime hills. So let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster. So I think that was a fairly good boomerang. I think the speed is was a little bit too high. I feel like you could turn the friction up and it wouldn't go through the elements as quick. So all you need to do for anybody who doesn't know is if you go over here, oh wow, you turn that down a lot. What if we just put it back at normal? And let's test it. I wonder if that would change the all right come on let's test there we go hate how everybody's got to leave the station for you to test it so let's see how this looks going through the layout because the multiplier is a little bit too high in my opinion And we'll see if that changed any of the stats or anything like that. Come to think of it, let's look at this one. Okay, actually turn that multiplier up. So this crater does know about the friction controls, which is nice. So let's see. Yeah, so that brought the G-forces down a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would have kept the multiplier either the same or even maybe even turned it up a little bit more to where it's greater than one so that the coasters can go a little slower because boomerangs normally are not that quick. So now the last kind of coaster in area of the park is this one right here. And once again, same fencing. Love it. Very detailed queue. Queue also on a grid. Four meter pass. Everything done very, very well there. In this station, once again, I mean, look at it from above. This is just so cool. And then we look in here, and then even more detail. So, like, one thing I was looking at is this is using the 0.5 wooden pole, which is crazy. And once again, you have the rope with the, the light hanging through it, which is a really cool kind of little concept and idea, which I think works out really, really well. And this, this station just having the ropes going like this is something that's so simple and basic but a really good touch and 
So let's look here at the stats as the coaster is leaving the station. We'll take a ride on it. It's called Savage. So everything all green, which is great. G-Force is definitely high. So it needs there's a couple spots that need a little bit of smoothing, maybe a little more banking. Um, but you'll see as we take a ride on the coaster. So that was, was it Savage, I believe is what that was called. And interesting using the Anubis design. I feel like this first drop could have been banked a little bit more and smoothed out just a tad bit more. Um, and then a couple spots had probably a little bit too quick of an airtime hill. But overall, I think the concept and idea is really good. Once again, a lot of foliage around it. Um, I think right here is where some of the G-Force is maybe a little bit higher, not giving the coaster enough time to kind of level out, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, pretty quick throughout the layout, which was nice. And once again, I mean, this is a first park. Like, I'm just amazed at seeing some people's first parks, and like, this is so much better than anything <laughs> I did for my first park. Once again, love the station. Love all the detailing. I mean... This creator just absolutely loves using these wooden logs and wooden posts. <laughs> but hey, I'm not complaining. This looks great. So now as we wrap this up, um, not really much else to say other than just look at how small this park is. This is So to put it in perspective, this is the deciduous map. Um, with my Wild Winds Park, now granted, that was at like 100 and... 30% on the PS5, so it was almost at 200%, it's like 180% or so on the PS4. Well, this is at 100% on the PS4, and this has taken up maybe a fourth of the map, if that. I mean, more like a fifth of the map, so like the level of detail that it's been used here is just really, really impressive. Um, and I can see already a lot of little things done by the creator that shows he's um, the creator's understanding some of the ways to save on percentage by using wider pass, pass on the grid, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this park and especially with it being a first park. So I'm really excited to see what you're able to work on next and what you're able to create. Um, and so that will do it for another park tour hope everybody enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button the link to this park is in the description below if you want to go and download it and hope everybody has a wonderful wonderful rest of your day see you next time